All right, everybody. Um, here's another video as I have just a little bit more time, and I'm not going to rush through any of my videos um, today. But I have decided um, that this is something that people might want to have on their altars. Again, it's not something that you have to have. Of course, you don't really have to have anything, really. Um, but this is just something that I've decided to put on my altar because I'm um, a bit of a pack rat. So I like to have an altar full of things. Um, and those are things that represent the elements. Um, I've decided to use feathers for air, and they are peacock feathers that I got at Michael's. Um, I could actually have picked up some feathers, but in my state, it's actually illegal to pick up numerous bird feathers. Um, I believe except for pigeons. <laughs> um, so it's just actually better for me to just go out and buy some feathers um, for just a price because I don't want to get in trouble with the law. And um, it's just a little bit easier. It needs to last for a bit of time. And um, for element of air, you can use incense, you can use fans. Um, basically, anything that you feel goes with air, use that. And air, of course, is um, male and um, God-centered and goes in the eastern quarter most of the time. Um, my next thing for fire is obviously a candle. Um, and I am a candle freak. Um, this is a glade candle in the glass, and I believe it smells of vanilla and um, apple. And I really like this. I would stick this in the, in the fire um, section, which um, normally corresponds with south. It is, uh, again, uh, male-oriented, and it is also um, god-oriented. Um, in, in the south, you can use actual pieces of, um, of lava, pumice stone, which can also go in the air quarter. You can use your athene, which normally goes um, either in the south, um, in the fire quadrant, which is where I put mine, or in the east, and people put it there, and they switch the uh, wand, which goes in the air section, but you get the point. Um, you can use, um, like I said, actual pieces of fire, dragon statues, anything that you think goes with fire, put it there. Now, um, I have a seashell, and you can see it's cowrie. I like the way it sounds. Um, this is from the Philippines. I believe it's from the Philippines or Africa, one of those. Um, and it, uh, and like I said, it, it reminds me obviously of the sea because it is a seashell, and the and it would go into the west um, section of your altar, um, which corresponds with water, which is female and goddess oriented. And something you can put there would be a bowl of water, um, something that smells of water. Um, what else is there that that's water oriented? Um, you should put drinks there, you could put your, your chalice would go there. Um, anything that you think kind of reminds you of water would go over there. And then I have a nice rock, which is, um, snowflake obsidian here. I couldn't find my geode. Once I get my geode, I might use this snowflake obsidian, which is fire, um, elemental kind of, um, and take out the candle. I don't know. But, um, rocks will go there, um, in the North Quarter, which is female, goddess, um, oriented, and you will put your rocks, or your herbs, or, um, dirt, sand, um, I mean, uh, I had a bear that I had sitting up there, and on one of my older altars, you would put that there. Um, and then in the center, I actually have a little cauldron right here that I got. This is cast iron cauldron that I got online and I absolutely love it. And in one of my next videos, um, once I get my kitchen in shape, um, I'll show you how to take care of cast iron cauldrons. Um, and I will explain the cast iron cauldron in another video. Um, I have to answer the phone right now. Thanks. Bye.